traditional. Got you, got you. Hi guys, it's Ever here and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to make that amazing effort. For this tutorial you will have to have the magic bullet looks and the universe points. I'll leave a link to them in the description as well as the tutorial on how to download them both absolutely for free. This video may be a little bit long so in the description you should find timestamps if you only want to watch a special part. But now enough talking, let's get right into the tutorial. So the first step to make this effect is actually to time wrap the clip and then we are going to sync it up. But we are going to time wrap it in a little special way. So just follow along and do what I did. The first thing you need to do is press on the clip, press Ctrl R. That will open the return controls and then you need to find the first frame we see the numbers appear. So here we see a little bit of the numbers. So press on the arrow here and press add speed point. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna go 30 frames to the left. So you can use your arrow keys to do this. So. 30, right here. We're gonna press the arrow again and press add speed point. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna go about in the middle and add speed point. Basically what you usually do is just press on the arrow here and change the speed. But we are not gonna do that. We are gonna press on the clip again, right click on the whole clip and press return curve. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna kind of zoom in a bit and make it like this. Press on the return frame and make so the only thing that's checked is the return speed. Now you need to click on the line and these three dots should appear. It's basically keyframes. So basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna drag this first part right here to about uh, 45% it's different for every clip you can play around with it yourself but I found that 35% is the best one what you're gonna do with this you can drag it up to about 210 so it should look something like this in my opinion that looks absolutely sick we can even make the slow even a bit slower so it looks about like this so what we're gonna do now we're gonna press on this keyframe that's in the middle and press on this curvy thing up here and it should become a bit curvy now we can zoom in and we should see two dots around this middle dot and we can make it a bit curvy like this not too much because it will just mess up the whole thing but about like this and that basically for me looks really good so the time mapping looks sick so what we're gonna do we're gonna zoom out press on the clip x out of the rhythm controls and press on this right here and we'll go out of that too what we're gonna do now, we're gonna again find the first frame we see the numbers, so right here. Put down the marker right there, then you go to music and find the beat you want the clip to happen on. So I already put it down right here. Just press M on your keyboard where the beat is and it should be a marker. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna just turn on this magnet tool and it should be really easy to just put these two markers in a straight line. Now you just fill out the space left. It should look tough like this. In my opinion, that looks actually so sick. So what you need to do now is go to the description and download looks. I will leave a tutorial on how to download it in the description and the link to download it in the description. What you need to do after that is in the same in the description you should find a link to a Google Drive folder where I will leave a, a look preset. So when you download the look preset, I will really quickly show you how to import it into DaVinci Resolve. How to do that is basically just download the look preset I left. Then you go to your Windows search down here and search up percentage local app data percentage. And this folder should pop up. Don't press on anything else and press on this folder. This should pop up. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna scroll down until you find Looks Builder right here. Double click on that. Inside the fee, you're gonna press on Looks. Inside the fee, you're gonna press on Custom. And basically, then just open up your downloads where you have the like download the presets and it should be named Look.mb Look. Just drag and drop it right there. But I won't do that because I already have it inside the fee. When you've done that, you need to restart damage resolve and you should have it. So now when you have look and the preset, you're quickly just gonna go to FX and drag in an adjustment clip. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna go to main clip and find the first frame you see the shotgun when it pulls out. So right here. And from there, you're gonna go four frames to the left. So one, two, three, four. And make sure the adjustment clip starts there and drag it so it ends on the two markers. Or when the kill happens. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to open effects, search up L U X 
and this should pop up. Just drag and drop it on this. Nothing should change, but then you go to FX, press edit look. Inside of it, if you just scroll down and press on custom, it's all the way down, it should pop up this colored every fire look. Just press on it and press on this like check mark. And it should look like this. If it doesn't look like this, it's a bug. So you just go to the strength, drag it all the way to zero and up to 100 again. And it should start working. If any problem occur, as I said, you can always just DM me on Discord or Twitter. Link in the description. What we're going to do now, we're going to go exactly in the middle of the adjustment clip. And if we press the adjustment clip, we should see like two white rectangular thingies. We're going to just take the one to the left and drag it and make it to the right middle. What we're going to do now, we're going to press on the adjustment clip, right click on it, press render cache color output and go to playback and make it to smart. That will basically just make it so it lags less, as you see guys. What we're going to do now, we can just go to open effects again and search up S underscore Ving Gnette and this should pop up. I don't know if I said it right, but just take it and drop it on this and it will just add some darkness to the edges. I just prefer that look. You can change the radius to a bit more, so something like this. In my opinion, that looks absolutely amazing. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna make some rotation angle, but first we need to disable this looks just by pressing B on the adjustment clip to just make a little bit less lag. What we'll do now, we're gonna go to first frame we see the numbers again, press on the main clip and press Ctrl B. That will split right there. What you will do now, you will go one frame to the left, so like this, go to video in the inspector, key from everything in transformer but by pressing this up here. Then you need to go 20 frames to the left, so one, 20 right here and key from everything again by just pressing this. Then you go to this key from we made before again and make the zoom in to a bit and make the rotation angle a bit. Make so we see the black here. Trust it will look so much cleaner so we'll just make some adjustments. So a bit rotation, maybe like this. You can just watch it throw and watch what looks good. In my opinion that looks pretty good. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna add some black bars. So how to do the black bars is go to cropping right here, just click on it and it will pop up in the inspect in the video tab right here. And what we're gonna go, as you see the adjustment clip here, we see that it's like a black triangle in here. So in the middle of the black triangle, so about in here, we're gonna key from everything in the cropping and go to where the triangle ends. So about here, key from everything again and make the crop top to 90 and crop bottom to 92. And it should look something like this. In my opinion, that looks fire. But what we're gonna do now, you're gonna go to the description and in the same gold raffle that as you find the looks preset, you should find a uh, overlay. Download that overlay, then basically just drag it and drop it. It will be green screened, but we will quickly just take away the green screen. Go press on it, go to Fusion tab, unclick it, press on the media icon because it's a bug if you do it directly. Press Control space, press delta, search up delta and press add. Then what you need to do now is make the background to green and it should disappear. If it doesn't disappear, make this one to white and it should disappear. If the delta key doesn't work, you can use something called Luma here. That will do it directly, but it isn't as good, so I prefer Delta key. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna press on it, press Ctrl R, that will open the and controls, and now press on the arrow and press change speed, and speed it up to 200%, so it looks like this. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna find the first frame, the spin is done, so right here the spin is done. As we see, here it's spinning and here it's end, so we'll just drag it and make it shorter, so it ends where the spin is done. And it should look something like this. But as you see guys, it doesn't sh follow the character, but we're gonna fix that. And we, But before we do that, we need to drag it like this and make it so it ends where the markers are or with the, where the first numbers pop up. So it should look something like this. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna do a bit of keyframing. 
and how to do that we're gonna find the frame before we see the like crosser in the middle so here we can see a bit of it here we can't see it at all so we'll go to inspect the go to video keyframe everything right the frame before and then the frame we see the whole crosser fully built we'll keyframe and make the zoom and just make it so it points at the character and it looks should look something like this and that looks in my opinion absolutely fire but we can like follow along and just keyframe it go some frames forward keyframe it again and just make it follow the character and it will just look much more professional so as we see here a right a keyframe but you understand right it looks pretty good and if we undisable the overlay again should look something like this yeah and it looks pretty good but when we have this adjustment clip it, we see that it doesn't we can't see it as good as we could without it so we're gonna add a little like rgb around it how to do that is press on it make sure that before you do this all the keyframes is already done so right click on it press new compound clip press create and what you're gonna do now you're gonna go to open fx and search up uni dot ecto and then this should pop up and then just drag it and drop it on the overlay and it should look like this but in my opinion this is a little bit too big i don't like how big it is so we're gonna make the distribution a bit less make the size a bit less and make the glow intensity a bit like this you can copy my settings exactly if you feel like my settings looks good I'll use probably just use warm and make yeah you can just play around with the size usually I take down because it gets becomes really much if you do. In my opinion this looks absolutely fire like it will be really laggy. But if you have the smart on it should be better. And we're basically done with the boot up. So what we're gonna do now we're gonna do the sound fix and then we're gonna do the kill effect after the day like when the kill already happened but we're gonna start off with the sound effect how to do sound effects is in the same gold rifle that as you we you find the overlay and the looks preset you should find a sound effect basically just drag it under and make it so it ends right where the kill happens so about something like this and don't make it so it starts too long ahead of the effect so something like this maybe. In my opinion that looks already really listens already really good but we're gonna make even one more sound effect in the same gold drag you should find another sound effect that should be called whoosh or something like that and basically take that and just drag it in like this and it should be something like this you need to play around with it maybe a bit more forward like this in my opinion that sounds really good but that's basically the sound effects we're gonna do use and now we can basically start doing the kill effect when the kill already happened so how to do that is go to fx drag in an adjustment clip and what you're gonna do you're gonna basically go to open effects and search up s underscore shake and what you're gonna do you're gonna go to the fx inside of here you should find this i will just load the preset that so you guys can copy it so right here just copy all of these you can pause the video make it in slow mode do whatever you want but just copy all of these yeah you see guys copy all of these um what you're gonna do you're gonna press find the first frame keyframe the amplitude go 15 frames to the right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 14 15 key from it again drag it all the way to zero what you're gonna do now you're gonna again go to first frame key from the z list make it to about 0 0.930 and go five frames to the right so 1 2 3 4 5 key from it again and make it to one and it should look something like this if it's lagging you can just do exactly the same thing as we did on all of the other 
opinion that looks absolutely amazing but we're gonna even do it m even cooler than that by just going to again to the open effects and search up and search up edge detect it should be right here edge detect it's built in so just drop it on this it will look crazy but we're gonna make the gray scaled and just drag up the denoise strength and she looks up for this. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to global blend, keyframe it, go about like seven frames to the right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Drag all the zeros to the And we look absolutely crazy. In my opinion, this looks absolutely good. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, drop a sub, and see you guys in the next video.